You just drop off my stuff and it's and it's over? Jason, I fought so hard to save your life and to be with you. Why won't you fight for me? Did we ever even love each other? Or was I just making it all up? Sam, don't do because this. people told me you were incapable of feeling the doctors said that I was projecting my own emotions onto you, that the love I saw in your eyes was a reflection of my own. Is that what you think? How can you love me and do this to me? Was I misinterpreting your feelings for, for pity? You felt an obligation to take care of me for Sonny. Was it never anything you more than that? You know it was more than that. Then how can it be over, Jason? And don't lie, because I know you hate it, just tell me the truth. Why is it so easy for you to walk away from me? Did you ever even love me? You want to know if I loved you? When you were pregnant, I wanted to be a father to your child. And after the baby died, I asked you to stay with me. When you were in the hospital dying, I was by your side, willing you to live because you mean everything to me. I've never loved anyone as much as I love you, and I always will. Adrian Ring, where is it? Did someone say it? It's right here. It's okay. You took it off before you went into surgery. You want me to put it back on? Please. You've been so good to me. You've stayed with me through so much. Crazy to survive. 
suppose I'd ever be the one you chose. Hey, thanks for decorating the place. It looks great. Oh, come on, come on. I wasn't really sure how you wanted it to look. So. It's perfect. Uh, well, almost perfect. You forgot oh. to put the star up. <laughs> no, I left that for you. Okay, then we'll do it together. All right. I hope this uh, big tree doesn't fall over. <laughs> Very funny. It's not going to fall. There, like that, maybe. Okay. I like it. It's yep. perfect. Wait, yeah. wait a minute. What? What is this? Has your name on it? Because Santa left me a present already. Would you just be giving me what I want? Okay, that's a fair question. There are things that worry me about having a child. Number one, your health. Okay, well, assuming I get permission from my doctor, what else? Huh, okay, if we have children and start a family, they deserve the best of us. We owe it to them to put them first and make sure they grow up in a home that's safe and that's gonna be up to me to make that happen Sam and honestly I don't I don't know if I can Jason no one is ever perfectly safe I mean we do the best we can think about everything we have to offer like the way we both love children I mean can you just imagine a little boy running around this house, following you all over the place, looking up at the sky and watching the stars with you and building model airplanes. And I can just see our little girl. I can picture her. I can see her on your shoulders because she can't see the parade. And, and building sandcastles in Hawaii. Oh, gosh, will you listen to me? We're going in circles. I, uh, you convinced me that I'm going to be a good mom, and now I'm giving you all sorts of reasons why you should be a dad. But you know what? You're right. It's a leap of faith, just like you said. So if Dr. Meadow says you're healthy, I'm going to make us as safe as possible. Let's do it. pregnant I used to have those panic attacks about not being able to take care of kids let alone God forbid taking care of my own and then you used to tell me all the things that you would do with Michael mm -hmm. and we're gonna do all those things with our kids and you're gonna be great with them I want to give our child the family that I never had not that I'm complaining because I love Danny more than anything and you, you are my family, but I'm talking about the whole traditional family mm -hmm. thing, you know? I, I want to raise children with you and sit by the dinner table and tuck our kids in at night, send them off to school and watch them graduate and have our grandchildren grow old together and 